So these videos will be weekly analysis. And let me tell you guys, you will really, really get a lot of information. If there's something that is very important when you come to do any kind of analysis is the weekly analysis, because they will give you a hands up of what to expect the next or the following week. So today we are starting with Euro USD. And I, because I have, I, I think I have 13 pairs that I am supposed to analyze for you guys. So I will be making these videos the shortest because I just need to analyze weekly and what I think. I don't need to go to daily. I don't need to go to four hour. This weekly analysis videos will just tell you what do you expect the following week. We won't go to daily. We won't go to four. It is purely weekly analysis. By the way, guys, I have put my number here to avoid the scammers who are impersonating my name to be me and scamming you all. This is my number plus 254700344066. What I offer is a course and a training. I have physical classes in Kenya. The next class starts in September, date nine. And I have available course that has 12 modules, 10 profitable strategies at $1,000. And again, guys, you need to understand that you can purchase one strategy because there are 10 profitable strategy. One strategy is $100 and it comes with three episodes. So there is three lessons to learn per, per the strategy. So if you are interested to purchase either one, two, three, if you purchase three strategies at $300, if you purchase five strategies, $500, if you purchase the whole course is $1,000. But remember, for those who will purchase the whole course $1,000, they get lifetime mentorship and I add them to students follow up. If you only purchase one, uh, one strategy, I will add you to a different WhatsApp group, but there's no lifetime mentorship. I will just give you answers according to that strategy that you have you have uh bought i cannot start teaching you other strategies okay so that being said let's get to weekly analysis on euro usd guys if you have seen or you have noticed on the weekly time frame uh the 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 euro usd has been going down since you can see here we have been on a downtrend since Monday, January 2021. So four years, the market has been going down, but in, oh, two years, the market went down because in 2022, that was the last time we had the last low. So we had the market from this high to this low. So you can see the market can take two years to come down. And from 2022 to 2024, another two years for the market to come the halfway. So the market has really ranged. At this point, we don't even know for sure is this market, where will the market break? Because will it break on the upper side or the below side, which is viable? If the market break, it will go back to where it came from in 2021. If the market break on the lower side, it will go back to where it is the lowest in 2022. So this is 2020 and then this is 2022. So that's what we have at the moment. The market is ranging, you know, our trading a ranging market. And this ranging market has so many pips. So it's a range of 800 pips. So yes, the market has been ranging, but that ranging, you can still make money. You can still trade and make money out of that ranging. And that's why I'm saying you have to understand that Euro USD has been ranging. Even if it has been ranging, the market has, been uh, on a on a 800 gap where if you are on lower time frame you are making money so it's something that has happened this week we can see that the market broke this resistance there is a resistance here but our current cs cr not cs this is called current resistance current resistance was broken when we talk of current resistance we mean the 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 most current resistance, the CR, was broken. So the market has pushed up and has broken. Let me tell you guys, uh, we can see that the market has come to this area where the market keeps uh, getting rejected. So I, I am really struggling, guys, not to teach you about sell zones and buy zones 
But all I can say is that apart from having a resistance in your chart, there's something we call a sell zone and a, a buy zone. So whenever you hear a buy zone or a sell zone, it's unlike the resistance and support. For resistance, we know resistance happens above. For support, we know support happens below. But now for sell zones happens above, buy zones happens below. And that is something that I teach in my class. So I won't even tell you how we get the sell zone, but for me, my market is has tapped a sell zone. So we are currently on a sell zone and there's the way you identify the sell zone. So what I can tell you is that next week, it will be one of the hardest weeks to trade uh, any pair because it's the monthly candle closing. It's the last week for the monthly candle to close. So you already know when the market wants to close a monthly candle, how they behave. They either manipulate for a zone to be broken, a resistance to be broken, or they manipulate for a zone to be rejected or a resistance to be rejected. So what you can, uh, there is a sell zone here, but for your purposes, because you guys, you don't know about sell zone, I can just uh, highlight what you understand. So I have a resistance here. Let me bold it. I have a resistance here. This is our resistance. I have resistance there. And I have this resistance. So we can see, yes, the market has broken the first the resistance, but it has not broken this resistance. So the question is, will the market by the end of this month, the month of, of, of August, will they be able to push and break this resistance? Or will they tap here and reject that resistance? And you see, majority of times where when a resistance is broken, you can see here the resistance is broken, there's a high chance the market can come to retrace here. So that's what I'm saying. It is the hardest week ever. Because if they want a monthly candle to close a certain way, all they will do, they will start retracing to come and retrace around this area. And that is 180 pips, guys. Imagine 180 pips. So at this point, what am I seeing for the weekly analysis on Euro USD? For me, I'll be waiting for the next candle, and that is the final candle of August. That's how I can be able to judge. Let me tell you guys, if I get a red candle, and this is what I'm predicting. If let's say next week we get a red candle, a weekly candle should be, let's say, a bearish red candle. Like that, I'm telling you, it will be a battlefield between buyers and sellers. Even if we get just a red candle, it doesn't matter. For me, that's my analysis. If we get a red candle, it will be a battlefield between buyers and sellers. And it is it is a matter of, is the market going to sell? Is the market going to buy? But let me tell you guys, if we get a green candle, the market will buy. And we'll buy up to this area. So for me, I've come to realize when you understand your cell zones, your resistance, your support, your, all these strategies, uh, you are able to predict well and you react whenever your prediction comes to pass. So I have said, I'm just waiting. I cannot do much on EURUSD. In fact, I won't look at it because EURUSD, if it will print a green candle, Trust me, the market will continue to buy next month and will be pushing to the next zone. But if the market uh, closes red, hey, it will be a battlefield. And this battlefield, we can stay for months without getting a way out. So that being said, I don't want, I want to analyze each and every pair. We have 13 pairs, guys. So Euro USD, be very careful when you're trading it. If Let's say on lower time frame you get a sell opportunity. Your take profit should be either this area. You see, this area I have marked one point one hundred. That's where the market most probably will go. This is the area, so you don't need to come and target over here. So this is the last area you can target if you are looking for sell opportunity. But if but understand on four hour there are other areas. Uh, and zones that you can target. But this is the last one. If next week the market sells, this is where the market is coming. So that being said, all I need to tell you is that be very careful trading EURUSD. 
because when the whenever the market is closing end month, there's the way they manipulate the market. There's the way they big they push big momentum candles. But for me, I'm looking forward for either a bullish printing forming candle or a bearish printing for me candle. From that, I will be able to know what I'm dealing with. Right now, I may not know what I'm dealing with. And that's my strategy. My strategy are based on, on what I'm trying to tell you. And that is a strategy called BW strategy. And if at all you know about BW strategy, and also this, this, the strategy that I'm applying here is RWC strategy. That's what is giving me to wait either for the green candle or the red candle. And that's why I keep saying, if you really want to learn these strategies, the only thing you need to do is to start purchasing from $100. And the reason is, there's no way you can get RWC, BRC, BWA without first getting OPT. So even if you purchase right now one strategy, what you will get is OPT strategy. If you purchase again, what you'll get is BW. It is following an order. So you can say, I want to purchase that RWC. No. And this is high time that I will be coming here and 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 put live trades with the strategy that I'm trying to help you understand how they work. Anyway, guys, all the best. See you in the next one. Bye.